Today begins National Crash Responder Safety Week. It's a fitting day for it as the snowy weather has been causing major issues on the road all morning long. We want to remind you to take it slow and be cautious of other drivers. During the past five years, incident responders have been involved in 544 crashes while responding to accidents on Minnesota roads. Today, local incident responders provided tips to keep yourself and other motorists safe. Many times we're standing roadside and cars are going by us at 70 miles an hour or even faster. Unfortunately, our jobs have become very dangerous because drivers are not giving us enough space they're driving too fast and they're also driving distracted. We want drivers to understand the risks that we take every day and the importance of slowing down and moving over when they pass us. That becomes especially true as we head into winter and the roads become slippery. Beyond clearing nearly 7 million traffic crashes annually across Minnesota and nationwide, traffic incident responder workers work roadside to clear stalls, roadway debris, and other incidents restoring safe travel for everyone. It is imperative that motorists stay alert for our traffic incident responders. During the past five years, incident responders in Minnesota have been involved in more than 500 crashes involving park vehicles while responding to crashes and other incidents on our roads. These crashes have led to numerous injuries and one fatal crash. I was called to respond to a winch out, like Troy said, in Avon. Um, Uh, I pulled up on scene, like he said, there's two troopers a few hundred yards back that give us lights for incidents like this. Um, I, I guess I was uh, hooking everything up and I just grabbed my winch remote to go down to the car to explain to the gal how it was going to happen and the feeling of when the steering wheel shakes and all that. So I just kneeled down by her front right quarter panel and my truck was struck. Um, it was kind of a crazy feeling. You hear a bang, you know, I thought, honestly, I thought my tow truck had rolled over. So when I looked up and seeing that that's what it was, I didn't really know what to do. I, I ran up there, I shut my truck off and then I ran back to the vehicle and opened the passenger door as one of the troopers was pulling up to obviously check on if people were all right. And there was a young 16 year old girl driving the car and there, there was a male passenger. Um, they were both okay. The guy just had a couple scuffs on his forehead, but everyone walked away from the crash. And I guess I, after that call, called my wife and let her know that, you know, my truck had been get or my truck got hit and she thought I was hit, but I just explained to her that I'm okay. And she was really emotional about the whole thing. A uh, week later to find out that we were pregnant with our first kid. So it was kind of an emotional thing. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but a lot of things kind of run through your head at the time of, and uh, just kind of glad to be here today. You know, you can never have your head on a pivot enough. I mean, 10 years and I've had close calls. I haven't, obviously before this, had anything like this, but just, yeah, always be aware. I mean, apparently lights aren't always the answer. Uh, I, uh, for me being where I was, two troopers behind me side by side, I mean, I guess I forgot to mention before, the right lane was complete black ice, the left lane was dry. I mean, after the incident happened, we were walking around looking at everything and I, I don't have an answer. I, I can only guess that she was distracted. Um, I asked the trooper on scene what he thought and he didn't see it hit my truck. He said when he heard the bang, he looked forward and saw the back wheels of the car hitting the ground. Um, yeah, all that caused a, a big wreck behind us as well. I mean, it jackknifed a semi across the road, and it was just a, a bad ordeal. And, yeah, I guess I would just tell everyone, be aware, because if you're not, <laughs> you don't know what can happen. I, I think people see red and amber, and they don't respond to it. That's usually why we end up calling law enforcement, because, unfortunately, it takes having blue lights and not necessarily always, because they obviously get hit too, but 
for us, it seems like people tend to move over more when they see the blue and red going. Minnesota, Minnesota's move over law is a common sense law that is critical to the safety of law enforcement, emergency workers and responders, and road crews. The intent of the law is to keep safe any and all people who provide services to incidences on the roadways. The move over law requires motorists to move over a lane when passing by an ambulance, a fire truck, law enforcement vehicle, a tow truck, and also road maintenance and construction vehicles that have flashing lights. If they cannot move over, they are required to reduce their speed. Now we're calling on the motoring public to be our partners uh, to keep our roads safe for law enforcement, emergency responders, tow operators and road crews. The roadway is our office and we need a safe place to work. So when you see one of these vehicles on the side of the road, we ask that you do three things. First of all, slow down. Give yourself time to react to something that might be changing in front of you. Move over if possible. Give us the room to work on the side of the road safely. And pay attention. Keep your eyes up, looking straight ahead at the traffic in front of you. Leave that phone alone. Respect the victims and protect the workers on the side of the road. We want the traveling public to think about the people working to clear the roadways and to do their part in taking responsibility for our safety. Keep watching CBS News Minnesota for continuing coverage.